Hello again and welcome to another unboxing video. This time you'll see a rather large box in front of you and as you can see it's from Zyxo and it's an Ethernet switch. This particular one is the GS1900-48HP which is a 48 port switch. It's rack mount and you can even desktop mount it as well if you want. Um, what it is, is 24 of the ports have got full PoE. Uh, the other 24 are just standard Gigabit RJ45 but we've also got a couple of SFP ports on the side as well so there's quite a range of options on this particular model. So what I'm going to do is quickly unbox it, check what's inside the box and then what I'll do is I will check the interface out for the configuration of it, give you a little look at that and see what you think. So rather than waiting any longer, we'll open the box and inside the box, rather large switch, we have Standard paperwork, what have we got? Chinese, uh, safety warnings, declaration of conformity, and we have a quick start guide, which to be quite honest, should be relatively straightforward for anyone that's worked with switches. You can see there, we can put the rack brackets on there, screw that in, mount it onto the rack, or there's a little feet apart my supply, we'll check that, stick it in the bottom and you can stick it on a desk somewhere. Details on the default IP address, which is worth bearing in mind if you're putting this onto a network. And we've even got a little console port, it's like flashback to the old days of serial connections. Um, let's take that away, get that out of the road. At the side, nothing else in that. We've got a UK power plug. And we've got all the goodies in there, which are various nuts and bolts, if we're going to put it into the cabinet, little feet for desktop, and there's the side connectors there, sticking out the side for putting it into a rack. So that's all the add-on bits we get there. Let's throw that out the road. And inside here, needless to say, oh, a bit of paper hiding there. We'll look at that in a second. There we have the switch and a piece of paper underneath there. Just a warranty card. Throw that away. Right, so let's have a little a look at this. It's a fair old weight. So let's see about getting this out of the plastic. And as you can see, LED mode, or what that is, I'll need to check that out. There we have the full 48 ports there. Um, again, there's the SFP ports, 4950 there. And at the back, we've got power, and strangely enough, in that diagram, it showed an old serial console, but it's not on this particular model. Um, the thing about switch unboxings is, that's it, it's just a switch, nothing really exciting. Big label on the back. So, what we'll do is we'll power it up, um, see what the interface is like to work with, and um, we'll try it out. Right, so I've got the power cord that's been put into it. And I thought what I'll do is show you the, I'll bring this over, get it in a better position. Um, so what I'll do is I'll plug this in and we'll see how noisy this is because there's a couple of fans at the side. So let's plug it in. Okay, there's the fans starting up. I would hope that this is only temporary. But then again, for these devices, they will usually sit in a rack anyway, so there's lots of noise already in there. But considering it did come with desk, you know, desktop kind of rubber feet, um, I would imagine that some people might have it in a small office, so here's hoping the fans cut back. So I'd imagine this will just take a minute or two to boot up. So let's just see how quickly it takes to boot up and then stop making that noise. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, since it's not cut out, I'm going to leave it running for a bit and 
I'm just going to connect the machine into this and we'll have a little look at the web interface and we'll see how easy it is to configure. So let's configure the PC first so that we can log into it. So what we'll just do, log in and we'll change the IP address of this machine. Oh, not 100. Don't really need that, but we'll put it in. That's fine. We'll launch the web browser. 1.2.168.1.1. And we'll log in under admin and 1.2.3.4. Right, that's us. We're straight in. Um, quite a nice little image shown as the model. It's shown you where I've actually got the cable plugged in. And a bit of device information, the model, revision, serial number, MAC address, blah, 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 blah. Um, so you can see there we've had it up for 29 minutes. So let's see what other buttons do and what we've got here. So what have we got straight over? It's shown as the IP address. Click information. Reports. Port counters. So we can check individual ports for information. And if we want there we go, we can see how much data is going through each port. That's quite interesting. Chop and change the refresh periods. Uh, power over Ethernet. So anything that we've got there running power, the same thing. We can check. Bandwidth management. So if we want to play about with that. Storm control. Again. VLANs. Let me configure any VLANs up. This is where to do it. So guest VLAN, voice VLAN, Mac table. So again, we've only got one kicking on at the moment. Link aggregation, if we set those up. Look guard, multicast, statistics, groups. Router as well, spanning tree protocol stuff, support. MST, MST, STP, LLDP, in each of the settings there, under security, port security, uh, what we got, 802.1x, management, syslog, stuff we want to check, error disable, Okay, so we can get in the configuration side. You can see the IP address again. IP, time, information about it can change. And again, so we can start to go in, edit. There we go, we can give it names, we can chop and change the speeds, whatever we want to go and do on that. Again, edit into that. Uh, PoE, so we go again, go to port, one, edit, and there we go, so we can start to chop and change settings there as well. Quite interesting. Again, bandwidth management, so again, because we've got the one one there, we can edit that. And again, we could start to play about and change it. Storm control, edit, enable disable option there. And just back through really the rest of it again, the VLAN, guest VLAN, voice VLANs, Mac table stuff again, blah blah blah. Uh, what well we got? Maintenance, so we can upload firmware. What well we got under management? Doesn't seem to be anything there. Configuration, so we can back it up, restore it. Management, set it back to factory defaults. So diagnostic. Okay, test the port, it's passed. We'll do pings, trace routes, and then if we want to reboot, we'll just hit a reboot. Yep. Right, so that does take about 30 seconds or so to come back up. One, two, three, four. And that's us back up. So, that you've seen the interface, you've seen it being unboxed. Um, we're going to install this in a couple of hours see how that all goes but um, many thanks for watching the unboxing video and the kind of 
contact screen here. If you've got any questions, we'll do our best to answer them. And um, once again, thanks for taking the time to watch. Hopefully I'll see you again.